Hey Mark, I'm Brandon. I'm the guy that talked to you on the phone just a little bit ago about how I can bring you just way more customers for your business. Um, just to tell you a little bit real quick about who I am. Uh, I moved down to Arizona three years ago because I was a soccer player. I signed with Arizona United. Um, so I moved down here with my wife and we just had a little girl earlier um, in 2016. So now I'm kind of retired from soccer and this is what I do full time. I help uh, small business owners really just capture the lion's share of the market for uh, for people that are looking for their their service or product. So I'm going to kind of get right into it here and explain um, kind of how I do what I do and how it works. So it's called SEO, search engine optimization. Okay, and what I'm going to get into is I'm going to explain a little bit of the on-page SEO and then the off-page SEO, okay, and how that all works. So as you already know, 90% of people go to Google when they're looking for a local product or service. It's one of the most powerful search engines. It's the most powerful search engine in the world. Um, super popular. Everybody knows what Google is. Everybody uses it. It's, it's. I tell people a lot of the time, it's like the phone book used to be before the internet was, okay? People used to name their businesses stuff like A1 carpet cleaning because by being A1, it would be alphabetical and it would be at the top of the yellow pages when people would flip to carpet cleaning. So if your business was at the top, more people would ring your phone versus if you were somebody that your name started with an S or something, you know. Um, so nowadays, it's about Google. You know, the Internet is, is everything. Information's at our fingertips. As I'm sure you've heard this all before, but I'm going to show you why I'm different and why I'm better than than the rest of the SEO companies or or places like that 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 might have kind of pitched you in the past on on stuff like this. Okay, so let's say I just want to show you something real quick. Let's say I go to Google and I type in elephants because I want to find information. The first page that comes up is Wikipedia's. They're notorious for being at the top for for all their different pages. For information on stuff okay now why does elephants why does their page come up first the reason why is because they've got one of the reasons why they've got like 50,000 plus words all about elephants just tons and tons of information content um, about how they live how they sleep how they eat their anatomy and physiology um, what they like to do on their birthday <laughs> everything you could ever want to know about an elephant is right there on this page okay Wikipedia is also a super trustworthy source in Google's eyes, so there's uh, just every reason in the world for them to, to rank them at the top, okay? Now, when people go to Google, 96% click to something on the first page. Almost nobody goes to the second page, so if you're on page 2, you might as well be on page 20, right? Um, so let me look, let's look at your site here, okay? Uh, WesternEfficientEnergy.com, right? It's very, it's it's nice and it's cool that it's got these like pictures that change and it's, it's a nice logo you guys have. It tells you right here what you guys do. The problem is though, it doesn't have all that much information. Like as you can see, these words are the only words that when Google crawls over it, that's what their their bots pick up on, right? It doesn't even say Phoenix or anything. So that's the problem, is that. Google knows, okay, these guys do attic installation, but we don't know where they do them. We don't know, you know, you could be in any state and Google would have no clue. So when somebody goes to Google, which 90% of people are going to do, and they search spray foam insulation or attic insulation Phoenix uh, or spray foam attic insulation Phoenix or foam attic insulation Phoenix, AZ. You know, there's all kinds of different terms, obviously, that, that people might search for. But when they go and search those things, your site is obviously nowhere to be found. Um, I scrolled through tons of pages and I couldn't find you guys anywhere. But like I said, if you're on page two, you might as well be on page 20, right? Because all the market that you're looking for is up here. So if you want to make way more money, get way more customers, I can help you do that. It's I just got to get you up here and that takes a little bit of time but honestly attic insulation is such like a, a micro niche that I could crack into that fairly quickly and start getting your results pretty quick also 
the competition, which I'm going to show you in a minute here, is, is super low as well. So some of the, when I said on-page and off-page SEO, so the on-page SEO is stuff that I can do on your website, okay, like, like content. We want to have like 1,500, 2,000 words um, on your website, on the homepage there. So that Google sees, okay, these guys just know everything about attic insulation. They're the most authoritative, relevant source. So when a searcher is looking for that, I should put these guys in front of their eyeballs first. Okay. Now, off-page SEO, there's a few things. Okay. There's one thing called citations, which is putting your name, address, and phone number of your business in a different directory online. The more directories, directories you're in, and if it's consistently the same everywhere, so if you've got the same name, the same phone number, the same address, all consistently and well done in a bunch of different places online, you're going to outrank these people in, the, in what's called the local map pack here. Okay, so citations only affect this map, but the importance is that you do them right and you do them as, in as many places as you possibly can. Okay, so we do that, we get you right here in the, at the top of the maps as soon as we can. Okay, now another thing is called backlinks. All right, so what I want to show you here is if I look, if I search spray foam insulation Phoenix, there's 140 searches for just that, that term every month. Okay, so if we add in, if we did uh, foam attic insulation Phoenix or attic insulation Phoenix AZ. We're going to pull in even more and more leads for people that are looking for for what you guys do. But this seems to be one of the most popular ones: spray foam insulation Phoenix. Okay, one of the most profitable keyword terms. So if we look at these websites here, the guys that are up here in the maps, we've got Retro Foam AZ is their website, and we've got AZ Cool Foam. Okay, so if I scroll down, there's Retro Foam AZ. AZ Cool Foam is nowhere on page one. So the only one that we really have to beat out are these guys, okay? These guys are ranking organically higher. They don't even, their listing is not even in the maps here. Um, but we just want to beat these guys out. And what I can show you, what I can see is how many backlinks these guys have. So a backlink is a link to your site from a different website on the internet, okay? And the more powerful and authoritative that other site is, the more link juice is going to flow to your website. If Google says, okay, these guys are really trustworthy and powerful, and they're pointing to Mark's site over here, then Mark deserves to be higher up in the rankings. Okay, so what I do is I go in and look at the competition. I see what they've done, what their backlinks are, um, how many they have, how powerful they are. So if I if I look at these guys here, this tells me they've got zero backlinks. So I'm going to click in here. Um, actually, here, I'll just do it right here. So right here, sorry, we haven't found any information related to your request. Doesn't even, they don't even have any backlinks, okay? But if we go down and check these guys out, right, azinsulation.com. Here's them, azinsulation.com, okay? They've got, uh, let's see here. They've got 45 total backlinks, okay? And they're not even outranking those other guys. So they've done something wrong, whether it's their, their content, the way they write, uh, their keywords, maybe they plagiarize some stuff. All that stuff factors in because Google's got like 200 different factors that go into their algorithm. So, But we can see here, these guys are getting 182 visits to their website just, just this month in January, 182 visits. In December, they got 260, okay? So imagine having 260 people come through your website, a handful, a large handful of those turn into customers, and now all of a sudden you've gone from the guy who's on Craigslist who gets, you know, I don't know how many calls you're getting now, but just 10Xing your business big time, just completely changing your business. Now here's King Insulation, which is another one that I found when I searched for some different terms like, uh, let me do here, Attic Insulation Phoenix, okay? You got King Insulation here at the top of the maps. Whoops. Um, their site though is nowhere to be found, not even on the page. So 
your competition man is just super low. I can I can blow these guys out of the water in no time. Um, but people are going here and they're clicking through to their website. So we can see here 130 visits this month just to just to their website, right? So what my plan for you is is to build you out of site optimize to pull in leads for all those different terms that people might search for. Um, do the backlinking and stuff that it takes to beat all those guys out and just continually work on that and, and do a little bit here and there so that you're just glued to the top when people search all these different terms, whether they search attic insulation, spray foam insulation, Phoenix AZ, um, you, know, you get the point, all those different things that people might search for. So, um, hopefully this makes some sense to you. I know it's kind of a lot of information that I kind of threw at you there, but I wanted to, to, uh, I mean, you're obviously a smart business owner running your own stuff. So I think it's something you can get a, a little bit of a grasp of. Maybe if you, you can't understand it completely like I do, of course, but, um, I wanted to talk to you as if it's something you could understand. So hopefully this makes some sense to you. Uh, it's it's really quite simple. It's not rocket science, really. There's if you if you think there's a hundred fish every month that are are looking for attic insulation, ninety of them are jumping in the the Google pond, okay. And if this is the Google pond and here's page one, all those fish are over here, and there's none over here. So you just want to have your net in the right place to catch all those fish, and that's what I do. Um, I'm going to show you real quick an example of another site I've done. So. Assuming you're broken down in Scottsdale, you might search Scottsdale tow truck. That's what probably the most popular keyword term is. This is me right here, Scottsdale tow truck company, and this site right here. Okay, number one in the map and the organic listings. I went live with that at the beginning of October. I got 130 calls for it in December. This is a guy, Toby, that I found on Craigslist. He was just a, he's got his big yellow truck, but he, He's just been getting a call or two every couple days from Craigslist. And now he's gone to getting sometimes 8, 9, 10, 15 calls a day, depending on the weather and stuff, for people looking for a tow truck in Scottsdale. So it's completely changed his business because now he's he's just, his phone's ringing off the hook and he, he's busy as can be, you know. It's exactly what you want. If you're a small business owner, you need customers to succeed. So, um that's what I'm looking to help you do if, if, uh, if it's something you're interested in. Um, I'll send you this video and I'll put my contact info in there as well. So thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it and uh, looking forward to talking to you soon. Okay, bye.